Hello everyone, welcome back in Cool IT Help. This is the new JavaFX tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to communicate between the multiple scene. So we will see the multiple scene communication and uh, right now you can see on my screen there is an arrangement I have created to explain you the concept how we can communicate between the multiple controllers. Right now you can see we have these three scene and on this scene we have these three fields. So I will get uh, I will fill some data on these uh, text fields and then we will pass this data to the next scene on the uh, uh, this button click okay so once we press or this button so all this information name age and email will be passed to the scene 2 and that will be displayed on that scene 2 UI okay to do that simply we have to create the instance of a scene 2 controller class and that we will use to load that uh, stage also we will call the uh, display message which is which is a custom method to display all the information that we are getting from the scene one okay now we are going to see how we have done it so here is the netbeans id and this is a simple fxml based project first i will run this project and i will show you how we are doing it here so i'm taking a clean build and now build is successful now going to run this example so here we are so this is the first scene and here i'm going to input some information in this text field so this is sam age 20 and i will put a email here in this field okay now we have these two buttons send information to scene 2 and send information to scene 3 now first i will click on the scene 2 so scene 2 will open and the information that is sent from the scene 1 will be displayed here on the scene 2 so you can see that the information is displayed properly also the arrangement is made to send back the updated information to scene 1 as well or you can pass the information to scene 3 as well so now i'm going to click on the scene 3 you can see scene 3 window has been opened now and the information that has been sent from the scene 1 is displaying right here on the scene 3 so all scene have the arrangement to send back the information of okay so i am uh, showing the demonstration so i am modifying some information on the scene 2 and i will send back to scene 1 now you can see so whatever the information i have modified and filled here on the scene 2 that will be sent back to the scene 1 and displayed on the scene 1 fields so in the same way we have the arrangement and we have the buttons to communicate bi-directional okay now right now i am scene 3 so i will do a bit change here in this text field so okay and this information will be sent back to the scene 2 so this is the example that i have prepared to demonstrate you how much you can do with the this concept okay now you can see scene 2 is open and the information that we were trying to send from the scene 3 is right now appeared on scene 2 so guys this is a very simple arrangement i will describe you right now now everything is closed and uh, we are here in the dead beans so first i will close uh, all the class files and uh, we will start from the beginning so this is the fxml based project that simply we have created here in the netbeans and uh, we have prepared three fxml file scene one fxml scene two fxml scene three fxml as you have seen the image in the starting let me open the first scene fxml file so i will show you the arrangement that i have done it here it's simple so this is the scene one fxml only we have these three fields so we have assigned the fx id to this text field so because uh, we are getting the input data and we are passing this input data that's why we have uh, created the fx id and this is the button and we have two methods inside the controller to handle this button click scene send information to scene 2 and send information scene 3 so we have these two methods okay so we are handling the button click inside the controller okay now i'm opening the scene 
two fxml file it's just similar okay only the fx id is changed for the fields so for the first one name age and email you can see and this is the method action handler for the button click so this method will be created inside the scene 2 controller file and right now I'm opening the scene 3fxml file you can see these also has the fx id and uh, two methods inside the controller so first I will open the scene 1fxml controller and I will explain what we have done it here so every the core and main logic we have implemented here so watch it carefully so this is the uh, at the rate fxml annotation so we are using the fx id and uh, this is the reference variable so these objects will be used to get the information from input by the user okay so right now i'm talking about the scene one once you press the first button so the information will be transferred to the scene two okay so this is the scene two action handler method okay so once we click on the first button so that button click action handler is written here okay so this is the arrangement from line 39 to line 50 okay watch it carefully it's simple first we will load the fxml file okay so we have to transfer the information to the scene 2 so we are loading the scene to fxml this way we are using the instance of the fxml loader okay once we get the fxml loader object we are good to go to get the uh, parent object okay so we prepared a parent object root also in the step two we are going to uh, get the instance of the controller okay so fxml loader object will return you a scene to controller object so here we have uh, uh, ready our scene to fxml controller because uh, this object is going to be used in the next line okay so whatever the data we have to pass so we will use this object okay so here's the scene to controller dot show information so we are calling the method which is inside the scene to controller okay and which are receiving these arguments name age and field and that will be displayed on the scene 2 okay so uh, let me show you the scene 2 uh, controller method so here we are inside the scene 2fxml controller and we have this method show information that is uh, going to display the information that we are uh, passing from the scene 1 after that this is the arrangement to show a new stage and uh, we have to display that fxml okay on that so we have created the new scene object and that we have placed on the stage after that we have set the title then we are calling the show method to show the stage so this is the basic arrangement we have done it here so every button going to uh, perform these actions okay this is the way we are passing the information from scene 1 to scene 2 on button click now you can see here there is another button on scene 1 that is passing the information to the scene th 3 okay so the same kind of code we have written here to pass the information okay so this is the uh, button click action handler method and uh, here we are loading the scene 3fxml file doing the same thing prepared a root folder root pa uh, root object after, after that we are uh, getting the scene 3 controller okay so the scene 3 controller object reference object is created and then we are using this object to call the show information method which is inside the scene 3 fxml document controller.java file and 
which is going to set the coming information on the scene okay and uh, these uh, four lines is clear to create the new stage and we are setting the root object to display the scene 3 okay each uh, controller has a show information method to display the coming information to the corresponding scene okay now you can uh, see and you can correlate the scene to has the fields name age email and the same way scene 3 has the three fields name age and email and two buttons to pass the information to the other two scene okay so right now i'm inside this uh, scene to fxml controller now you can see the same kind of code i have written here so guys first try to understand the uh, base concept whatever the basic step we have done then you can create many uh, uh, scenes or you can transfer the information from one to another or you can do the bi-directional communication right now we are inside the scene 3 so there are two methods okay for the sending the information to scene 1 this is the action handler for the button which is uh, on the scene and uh, this is for the sending the information to scene 2 same thing is happening uh, in every action handling method so i have uh, prepared this example uh, with three scenes to uh, explain you and uh, for the better understanding okay guys now i'm taking a clean build and i will run this uh, project again and i will show you uh, the working of this uh, implementation here we go the scene one is uh, ready and now we will type some information and we will send it to the scene two and say scene three So we, here we go, uh, so we are sending the information to scene 3. Now you can see scene 3 is open and uh, this is displaying the same information that we have passed from the scene 1. Now I will open the scene 2. Now you can see scene 2 is also getting uh, the same information that we have passed from the scene 1. Now we can do the bi-directional, uh, we can send back the information to scene 1 as well. Okay, now I'm changing some information and I will send this information back to scene 1. So I'm doing a little bit change now, I just clicked and now you can see the scene 1 is displaying the same information that we have passed from the scene 3. So we have these three FXML files with three FXML controller and we have the arrangement to pass the information from one scene to another scene and from the second scene to back to the first scene. So this is the arrangement to pass the information between the controllers or between the scenes. I hope you guys have understanding right now you can see that I have not implemented this singleton in this example that's why the new instance is opening and uh, I hope you guys found this video useful so please like this video and share with your friends as well who are looking for the co communication between the multiple controllers and guys uh, please subscribe my channel also you can press the bell icon and you will get the latest video updates on time and guys for now thanks for watching cool it help